Walmart. Oh my gosh, look at this, the entire... <laughs> wow, it's something I've never seen before. Uh, Alright, well we don't need any of these, so that's pretty easy right from the get-go. We don't have to look through. That is a lot of spring mix, but I didn't know Walmart got them too, so now we do. Moving on to Matchbox, we finally found a red portion, not the white one on the shelf, but that's okay. Here's the new Matchbox moving parts. Good to see them here too. We got all those. I got most of these matchbox here. I still wonder if I will ever find the white one, but I think it comes next, so. Here's the moon eyes again. I haven't seen that in a long time. Okay, okay. Do I have two of those? Should I get one to open? Yeah, why not, right? They're only a dollar or so. So for matchbox, let's move on to premium side. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a nice surprise. Oh, cool. That is so sweet. I'm so happy I just found that. All right, so we'll take one of those. It's the Grand National. Should I get one of these too? Not the biggest fan. I mean, they're cool, but what else is in here? I think this is really the only good one, right? Camino, Volkswagen, Nova, Grand National. Yeah, that is so cool. Cool. That is unexpected. And there's a lot of them too. Look how many there are. One, two, no, maybe not, so four. Oh, here's a Hummer. That's pretty cool. It's the H1, it's not the new one. All right, well, for $3.25, I don't think I need more than one. Although I would like to open one, but I don't know. I'm probably not gonna, I'm just stick to one. And everything else down here, a little Goku hanging out, M2s. That's a pretty good find. I'm actually really happy to find that. We'll get the Grand National. The sparkling paint on that is pretty, pretty epic. And of course the Jetta, Jesse's Jetta. Although the wheel's kind of bent on this one. Let's see if we can find a better one. Yeah, that one's better. Uh, we'll put that one back. Anything else? I don't think so. Still tons of these Fast and Furious Land Rovers hanging out. Let's see if we can find anything else before we leave. I'll take a quick look. Oh, look at that. Another one of these. I'm gonna grab that, actually. I might want to open one. So we'll, wait, if that's there, let me see if we can find a treasure hunt. I don't think there is one, now. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a Skyline other than that one time when I was out. Definitely gonna pick that up since they're only three bucks. They're not that expensive. Jurassic Park one back there. That one's cool too. Another Bigfoot. Cool. I just wanna dump in. I'm just gonna definitely look through it really quickly before I go. I don't know how long they've been here, but it's pretty full, so. It's a pretty old one right there, huh? Alright, we are checking out a Target. I don't think there's anything here. Okay, we found D-Case. Finally some cars that I've not seen, we have. So the Quattro. <laughs> no way! What are you doing here? That's crazy. Why are you here? Lisa was just behind, no, it's Lisa. I'm just getting out of work and Lisa was here. <laughs> How funny is that? And she said, don't look in the cart. And she was just in the Hot Wheels aisle. So she must have something for me, because my birthday. Pagani's on the R in red. This is nice, wow. And finally, a good case with some cars for me. We're going to do all of these. I see this here, we already got that. I'm actually, Guys, this is like, uh, it's kind of hard. I'm just going to say this now in case you watch my other videos. This is in front of next week's videos. And you're going to understand on Sunday when the first video drops. Ooh, new Roger Dodger. Because I'm actually filming this clip. Ooh, DeLorean Alphas. 
do everything's here. Sick. Yeah, I'm actually filming this before. After. Just watch the Sunday's video and it'll all make sense. Red Ram. Camaro SS and Green. Yeah, so there are a lot of cars that I haven't been seeing. What else is there? That's so funny. I felt a finger on my neck and I'm like, who could this possibly be? Is it a subscriber? I turn around and it's Lisa. I was like, why didn't you tell me you were coming here? I'm just finishing up. Saturday's video, because it is Friday right now, and you will understand what I'm talking about when you watch this weekend's, well, Sunday's video. Just watch Sunday's video, guys. Hey, look. I guess I got this bin today. There's a red Vespa. Not a big bike guy, unfortunately. They must have just gotten this case. I wonder what Lisa has for me. She's didn't check the cart. Well, what could she possibly gotten for me that I don't have? Here's the 507. SD case. Grass chomper. My favorite Miata. Another Audi. Let's take that. My favorite Audi, dude, because normally they all have crazy paint jobs on them, but this is clean. We are back. We got a lot of cool Hot Wheels in this video. A lot of cool Hot Wheels. We finally found DK's. We'll go over all the cars in a minute. Stick around because I have something to tell you, and I got something to show you at the end of this video. First things first, we got another one of the Fast and Furious Skylines. I think I'm going to open this one. Definitely a cool car to have found. I've only seen one in the store one time, and I picked it up. But I think I'm going to open this one because I don't have any monster trucks open yet. I think I might just open this one. We also got Jesse's Volkswagen Jetta MK3. I actually kind of regret not getting two of these because I definitely want to open one. But it is what it is. I don't know if I'll ever see them again. I actually kind of know that I didn't see them again. I'll explain that in a minute. It's basically what I was talking about in the Target. We got another one of the 32 Ford pickups with the moon eyes. I think I actually did open one of these. I kind of thought to myself, you know what? I think I did buy that and open it already. And we got the Butte Grand National with the super cool black metallic paint. Dude, look at that. That's a really, really good looking paint right there. Really, these are the only two cool ones out of the set. The El Camino is not that cool. The Nova's all right. The Grand National sweet. The Jetta's sweet. And then we finally found some cars in D-Case. Man, I'm telling you right now, dude, I've run into D-Case a few times, and all there was was fantasies. But we finally got some cool cars. The 87 Quattro in red. You can see the ring is faded on both. I guess that must be how it is. Yeah, it's like that in the picture too. Is that, is this, am I missing something? Is there some significance behind that? I've always really liked this car, but they always come with the dumb liveries on them. I mean, they're not dumb. Some of them are okay, but for the most part, I think solid colors look way better. And this is a perfect example. I think this looks amazing. It is definitely, in my opinion, the best Quattro that they released. And I think that's essentially the color you want for this car too, right? Is that not the color that is most desired? The new Pagani Zonda R. Holy cow. In this beautiful metallic red paint with the gold wheels. This is a contender for the best looking one. I think the black one overall is the best looking one because that is the way the car comes after all. But this one is definitely beautiful. I bought two because we're definitely going to open one up. This one is sweet i don't know if it's a concept that they're coming out with or if it's going to be their new car or if it is their new car either way it's electric i'm actually going to go research to see what it is the 23 ram 1500 in red super cool truck this was recolored from white i believe and then there was also a treasure hunt a couple months ago i never buy these cars but this green is beautiful 2010 camaro ss hot wheels response team in bright lime green i'm a sucker for lime green cars guys i'm a sucker for lime green cars the new roger dodger recolor leap year oh that's cool so it must say 2024 on it somewhere oh it just has the date the 29th very very cool that the roger dodger is one of the best looking fantasies in my opinion and then finally we got a delorean hover mode i had two of these sent to me by david but i never did find one in the wild in ck so it's nice to see that i finally was able to find one in the store 
once again, Back to the Future, guys, is a great movie. All right, let's move on to the next thing. That would be this guy. It came out so good. It's not done yet. I got to clear coat it. And I, I got to add the taillights and stuff. I'm just, like, real apprehensive to add the taillights and stuff because, I don't know, this is where I always seem to mess it up. But my, oh, my, what a difference. I'll put a picture of what it used to look like on the screen. So I got the BBS wheels that TJ gave me on here. The black metallic paint stellar this one came out great i also painted the bottom i messed up a little bit on the holes i'm gonna try to work on getting better at that i actually did it really good on the integra we could do better and we definitely will i put up a poll on youtube and i also put up a poll on instagram asking if i should paint the interior white well the majority of the people in the youtube poll said no but the majority of people in the Instagram poll said yes. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you check that out. It's at Mike's Hobby Planet. I also took the windscreen and soaked it in hydrogen peroxide and left it out in the sun for a few days. And it took a majority of the yellow out of the plastic, which is really cool. It is a little bit scratched up. But overall, guys, this thing is probably one of my better customs. When I put clear coat on this, it's going to shimmer and gleam and look so much better than it does already. But yeah, I kind of want to paint it white, guys, because I think it's just going to pop. I really, really do like the way it looks now. It does. It looks great. It could be like this and be done with it and be happy. But I feel like white will just pop. I know. Most of you guys said no. But let me know what you think once and for all in the comments. Now that you know the reason for me wanting to do it is simply so it pops even more than it does. On to the news now. This is the last video in my normal format you're going to see for a while. As I mentioned previously, I have to take an emergency trip to California. So I made like something different the other day. You're going to see what it is tomorrow in Sunday's video. I think you'll like it. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun making it, but this should keep you guys happy for the next week. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video so you understand what I was talking about today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.